Massachusetts. It's the Cube covering WTG Transform 2019. Brought to you by Winslow Technology Group. Welcome back. I'm Stu Miniman. We're here at WTG Transform 2019 across the Mass Pike from Fenway Park, where we're hoping the rain's going to stop, stop in time for the game tonight, where we have 189 users here with Winslow Technology, digging in a lot of technology, networking with their peers, and I'm thrilled to have on another one of the end users on the program. Plamen Dimitrov is uh, Director of Information Technologies at Kiowa Island Golf Resorts, coming to us from South Carolina. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. All right, so uh, I, as I, I was actually telling you, uh, I, I'm familiar with Kiowa. My father is retired down to Johns Island, right off of Charleston, South Carolina. You have a beautiful golf course uh, there. Uh, they, they've been professional events there. We actually have one of our Cube hosts uh, does some PGA coverage, uh, John Walls. So he and I have talked about Kiowa a few times. But uh, for those of our audience that aren't as familiar and haven't been able to enjoy it, t tell us a little bit about Kiowa. Um, Kiowa is a beautiful island uh, over uh, about 10 miles on the uh, ocean front um, side and where the Kiowa Island Golf Resort is spread out. Um, we have uh, different accommodations with a lot of uh, different activities for all uh, ages, uh, starting with the Sanctuary Hotel, which is a five star uh, by Forbes and a five diamond by triple A. Uh, or you can uh, choose any of our villas from one to eight bedroom villas. Uh, all that comes with, uh, we have five beautiful golf courses, which one of them is uh, Ocean Course, uh, previously hosted Ryder Cup in 1991 uh, and uh, PGA in 2012 and we are also proud to be a host of the PGA 2021. Uh, very exciting. Uh, a part of that, we are uh, announced uh, to be uh, tennis resort number one in the world by tennisresortonline.com. Uh, we have over 22 tennis courts, different variations from hard courts to clay. Um, uh, on top of that, we have a lot of uh, pools, uh, swimming pools, uh, water parks, uh, a lot of recreation, kayaking. Uh, it's just a, a beautiful, uh, uh, can be a beautiful journey for any uh, visitors. Yeah, you know, so, so, so Plumman, uh, you know, I, I think some of the IT people listening to this are going to be like, boy, he's got a tough job uh, there. Uh, you know, sounds gorgeous, right on the ocean, so many things there. Bring us a little bit inside the IT, your world, you know, what, what that entails. And and, uh, uh, you know, boy, there, there's got to be some, some different, uh, you know, challenges and opportunities that you face uh, versus kind of the, the traditional, you know, business IT. Um, as, as, as every island, uh, we have all our friends like uh, salty water and all <laughs> things like that. Uh, and besides that, I, I mentioned that uh, the company spread out over 10 miles. We have a total of 23 locations. Uh, and all they share the same uh, systems and applications. Um, our current challenges from an IT standpoint are uh, things that not all of the vendors, uh, they can keep up with the uh, current technology and be all new and modern. So we have some uh, what we call old school applications that they can keep up. Uh, and then you have the new applications that they can be hosted on the cloud, for, for instance. Uh, in the same time, those applications need to somewhat work with, with each other and have some interfaces. So uh, this is where we kind of like face the, these days a challenge a little bit and where uh, our uh, partnership with Winslow uh, 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 were able to help us determine which, which is the best route for us. Uh, and we determined uh, that uh, Having a data center on island and they have another one off the island is something is the best for us to go. Uh, they, 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 they helped us uh, go through the planning of what's the right setup to be used and I think we're in the right direction. Okay, so great. So you have two data centers and you're also using cloud services if I, if I heard right? Correct. Okay. How, there's been a big discussion here is like, right, what is the cloud strategy? And it is an ever changing world and there is no one right answer. So, you know, when, when, when you look at yourselves, you know, what is your cloud strategy today? And, uh, you know, what makes you help uh, determine, you know, where you'll be moving in the future? Um, 
In one of the sessions, they mentioned it's all about uh, checks and balance. Um, and it's to be able to measure um, how to apply your cash in a way that uh, it makes sense. And one day, maybe for some applications, makes sense to be uh, on premise. Another day makes sense to bring it on the cloud. Um, and I can give you an example. Recently, um, what we did was we were looking into switching to Office 365. Pretty much everybody knows about it. Um, and there's a, a good study that after you go over a certain threshold, it's much easier to uh, and, and much more cost effective to have something on premise versus going to the cloud version. Now, again, it depends on the size of the company, it depends on the, um, uh, your future uh, projects and goals. Uh, for some people, may uh, be different uh, than us. But uh, I think that the future more and more, uh, things will be what's called quote unquote in the cloud, which uh, is mainly by other providers. Uh, and we're gonna have a tool called a key that you can get to those applications from anywhere. Yeah, okay. Um, bring us inside a little bit, the, the, the data centers, you said you have two of them. What, what, what's your infrastructure stack look like today? Um, we've been uh, looking at the various uh, solutions, uh, uh, hyper-converged and uh, uh, hybrids, and, uh, and, and with the help of Winslow, we determined that sticking to the three-to-one traditional solution uh, is the way we, we go. We use their uh, compelling products, all flash arrays, uh, very, uh, very uh, flexible and very reliable, very uh, uh, nice speed that provide performance-wise are great products. Uh, then after that storage solution, you have two data switches and then uh, a number of servers. Uh, we use on top of that the VMware as a, uh, our hypervisor. Uh, along with their uh, VDI environment called Horizon for some uh, remote clients that they don't need much. Uh, but that's, that's basically our uh, setup. Great, and, and how long have you, have you been using the Compellent solutions? The Compellent solutions, we've been using them for a year and a half okay. uh, since I joined the company. Uh, but I, my uh, relationship with Winslow goes far back since uh, 2013. Uh, where I used to work for another company uh, here in Nantucket, uh, and my uh, the very first person I worked with was John Clippert from Winslow, uh, very great guy, uh, and he introduced us to the Dell world. This is when we uh, bought the, the first Ecologic, and uh, afterwards uh, I went to Belmont, uh, where we also bought Pico Balance, and we just keep going along. All right. Great, uh, Plumman, last question I have for you. What, what brings you to an event like this? Uh, what, what were you hoping to get out of it? And you know, how, how's it been going for you so far? Um, well, what brings you to an event like this? Uh, most of the time is uh, on one side to see uh, what Dell has to offer. Uh, and uh, you know, some people attend Dell conference, uh, but I think uh, a place like this where you have smaller scale, conference, it's much more beneficial for me, uh, A, from uh, a learning experience, and B, from uh, creating connections, making connections with other users, which this is the best, because they can, sales rep can tell you, yeah, this is what you need, but then from a user perspective, uh, it's priceless to um, absorb experience. Plum and Dimitrov, I really appreciate you sharing uh, you know, your journey and uh, everything that Kiowa Golf Resorts is doing. Thanks so much. Thank you very much. All right, we'll be back with more coverage here from WTG Transform 2019. I'm Stu Miniman, thanks for watching theCUBE.